started liking that style of music, and I was like, oh, this is kind of borderline embarrassing. This is just, you know, people I wanted to hear in the back room, and they would take it out and put it to the masses. So, but so that now, you know, so it, it's, e it's easier for me. <laughs> is, is that something that would still interest you, or, or is yeah. the things picking up you don't necessarily want to write for? Oh, yeah, definitely. i glad things are picking up because now I can really start writing for other people. Like, it's all working out, actually. The reason why I started putting it out was to advertise my songwriting. You know, so now that everybody's interested, it's like, yeah, I'm just going to get some songs to end for. And do you think now maybe you would take vocal lessons or anything like that? Or? I don't know. If a label wants to, or somebody wants to pay for it. Wasting my not wasting my time, but I don't think I'm that type of artist that's going to be, you know, doing, uh, you know, like Grammy tributes and shit, you know. <laughs> so, so I mean, speaking of late, and it's it's getting weird, you know, it gets real weird. <laughs> they send their artists after you to come follow you on Twitter and like, hey, what's up? And then you come into their office and they like give you Felipe Chow's and offer you marijuana. I mean. And do you take out of it? Well, you know, I'm running a check up and leave, you know, just uh, get some smoothies, hang out. But it's all good. I know the trick, you know what I'm saying? They want to smooth you in and give you everything that's, you know, pretty much tangible right now. And uh, let you pretty much do whatever. Like, yeah, you guys take over my office and uh, just sign a deal at the end of the day, you know? And it's like, no, nah, I'm good. So you don't think that that's something that you necessarily If want people to are willing to, um, Listen to my contract and my terms, and we can come to an agreement on my terms. Then, yeah, we can. Right. But, uh, you know, just control and not control, control, but you know, like creative control and uh, just giving me the resources and standing behind me and not standing in front of me trying to tell me what the fuck to do because obviously I know what the fuck to do. You know, so it's just good to shove them that in their face. You know, because they all try to tell you. Oh no, you know, and then you're gonna do it like this, and then we're gonna bring in these other artists and some other guy to do this. And it's like, no, it's like, do you guys not know? Like, everybody in the middle should be fired right now, you know? Seriously, how did you guys not know about me? How did this not happen when now you're just all trying to be like, oh, we're, we love your music? And it's like, oh, okay, I played the second song, and you don't fucking know the song. It's like, okay, yeah, sign here, great. You guys are just hyped off of the co sign, great, that, that's good. So, um, it's cool. I haven't met with every label. That's just the, say about three or four of them. So it's still some ones out there that can redeem themselves. And you got a few more weeks set up for this week. Hell oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's ridiculous. They, they wish they could fucking come here right now if they could. So tomorrow at the show, it's going to be a clusterfuck. I think I'm going to piss a lot of people off tomorrow because it's so many different uh, labels and people that are coming and they feel like they all are going to do the same thing. It's just gonna really put everybody in the spot. So, have you been doing many shows locally? This is probably my fourth show, like real. This is probably my first, well, second official show with my name on the sort of bill and all that here in New York. So, um, how do you feel about live performing at this point? It sounds like you're still pretty new. Oh, it's cool. I mean, I've always, all my shit is live. Like, I do my songs with like one take in the room, and it's like, if it doesn't work, it's not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? So. That's why I kind of. That's how my music is kind of made. So when you see it live, it's like the shit that you got from at home, not like, oh, you're just a studio artist. You sound nothing like the song, or I got nothing from you know how it was in the song. I told them like, now it's gonna sound just like when I recorded that shit when I played live. So I'm I saw sure. um, my I guess <laughs> one that you're on, and you just wrote for her. I just wrote that one for. Well, even as well, we have one where I'm more of the lead on folks, the vocals, and it's kind of on that. Same type of, uh, same type of, well, not really the same type of thing, but it's relationship based and like you know, all right, you want to leave me, then go ahead and leave me, but I loved you and blah blah, blah. you yeah. know. So yeah. And that's when we might hear those. Whenever RCA gets that goddamn no shit out, <laughs> so um, whenever they're ready, you know, it's people in the buildings. They're I don't know what they're doing. They're I don't know. The, the shit is evolving so fast, it's fucking them up. You know, it's like, they, they even with someone like her, it's like, there's another uh, song, an album, video that you guys have been dropping off of her album. Like, what are you guys doing? You know, and then you 
guys want me to come in here? It's like, no, nah. like I see these pictures of these people on here and it's like, yeah, they had great careers at one time, but right now they're in the shits. So come on, you guys.